push day, starting to get back into benching heavy. Gonna hopefully PR in about a week. Or actually that video will probably be out in a week if I do PR. But hopefully gonna PR in like three or four days. I don't know yet. My my split kind of got thrown off. I'm doing push pull legs currently. I kind of mixed things around, took some rest days. So it's gonna be push, legs, pull, rest day, and then push again. I don't know how it happened, but I just kind of mixed things around so that the split would work and I would train everything evenly and not be, have to skip a day. So I got the EVP Extreme, that Evo Gin. I gotta get a, a nice big scoop so I can get that energy because the goal is we're gonna be benching really heavy today. 365 for reps is the goal. I've never repped 365. I've hit it and I, I hit 405 as the one rep max. So that's like my all time one rep max PR, but I've never repped 365. Never, well, I did attempt to, but that was when I was sick and I was trying to push myself to PR and I shouldn't have even been working out. So we're gonna see if we can wrap it today. I've been feeling fine, haven't been sick or anything. So, so today's the day we find out and I should be able to do it. But yeah, I got that Evo Gin. Gotta get that energy, focus, get that pump. You wanna have a huge bench, you gotta be locked in and have huge energy. So if you wanna get you some pre-workout, evoginnutrition.com, code KC. I'll put the link in the description if you wanna support and get a discount with that code. Automatically apply it if you hit the link and then check out. But yeah, it's a push day. So besides 365 for reps, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I, I really have no idea. I think I did dumbbell last time. So most likely I'll do like incline Smith. After incline Smith, I'll do probably two different flies. I don't know if I'll do both cable or dumbbell or whatever, but probably just two different angles. Lately I've been getting through it pretty quick. I've just been doing like a warm up set if needed and then two working sets of two different angles on fly. I think last time I did dumbbell incline and cable flat. So I don't know if I, I can do the same thing over again. It doesn't really matter. It's not that big of a deal. If I repeat my workouts, you know, it actually is good to repeat your workouts a little bit. That way you can kind of track your progress and how it feels doing the same workout over and over again. And then change it up every like month, month and a half or so. I do change my workout routine up a little bit more than that if needed, but it's really small changes. So I kind of change my workout split, but not really because it's always the same exercises. 365 today. And then I have not decided if I want to go 410 or 415. I failed 415 coming off of being sick. That was supposed to be my PR about three weeks ago, I want to say. And then I kind of deloaded and I've been working my way back up. So I don't know if I'm going to put 410 and go for it for that little five pound PR or if I'm going to go for the 10 pound PR. <sighs> I can't decide. I'll probably, I'll probably end up just doing 410. That'll be probably the next video. And then we'll see if I get it. If I get it easy, I can always attempt more. If not, I can, hopefully that'll be my PR. 410 will be the new PR, hopefully. And then of course, I'm trying to think how, how I'm gonna structure my workout today. Side delts, of course. I've been debating switching it up because I do side delts and it's two side delt. And then on pull day, it's two rear delt. I don't know, I just don't like doing side delt on side delt because it's almost like the exact same exercise. It feels like it's, I don't know. But I might change it up and do delts. It's like one side delt, one rear delt, and that'll be it for delts. I don't think I'm gonna separate it as just side delts on push and then just rear delts on pull anymore. I think I'm done doing that. And then triceps, probably, I might do skull crushers today just so I'm trying to get my tricep strength up and I'll also probably do something heavier with cables so instead of the rope which is the lightest cable exercise I can do I'll probably do what am I the strongest on probably either like the easy bar attachment or the flat bar attachment I think I am stronger on the easy bar attachment so I'll probably do that 
I'll just use like a wider grip for skull crushers and then a more narrow grip on the cable so that way it's a little bit different. That'll probably be it for the workout. I got some, uh, I'm gonna eat some waffles. It's my pre-workout snack. I need those carbs before a heavy workout, especially before a heavy workout. You gotta make sure you have some, some energy. Carbs are energy and carbs are strength too. That's why you bulk up, you eat more carbs. You get a lot stronger, so gotta get that fuel, pre-workout and carbs, and then we're gonna go for it. Hopefully wrap it and if I wrap it, it's gonna give me huge confidence going into my next push day. So I gotta go get it.
solid workout. I'm very proud of the 365 for two. Felt really good. I felt great after I did it. Got me kind of like energized, pumped up. So confident, confident going into maxing out on my next push day in the next three or four days. I think I definitely got 410, maybe 415, who knows? Just have to see, it's just whatever whatever I got on that day. Sometimes I, I go for one number and I just, I'm only trying to PR by like five pounds and I hit it easy and then I add more weight and hit a bigger PR. Other days it's really hard, so maybe I'll only be able to PR by five pounds. So 410 or better is what I'm going for. Feel confident in it, feel strong. Great bench session, great push day. You get to lift heavy and you get to uh, get a nice pump, which I felt like I got a pretty good pump going. That's a really great workout. So 10 out of 10 workout, couldn't ask for anything better. And see you on that next video when we go for a PR.